Is Tinubu a blessing or a curse to Nigeria? Hmm. This man is not a Democrat at all. He has no integrity and lacks an understanding of the tenets of democracy. <laughs> Tinubu, please, just leave Nigeria alone. Don't add to the already destroyed economy of this great nation. The antidote to coup is good governance. No this and no peace. Before doing that, go and ask Ukraine and Russia how far. They thought that it will be over soon, but see it getting to three years now. Please, Tudubu, I beg, send Asariami to Niger Republic. Do you understand? They have the capacity. You are paying Nigeria Army peanuts and giving Asari jumbo bags of money. You retired all our experienced generals. Now you want these ones to go and die for you and USA and France president. You lie, you. You lie, Mr. Tidubu. This is our president, Tidubu. is seeking relevance in the face of France, America, Britain, and the General West. A president that cannot tackle the stinging issues of the nation Nigeria, where bandits and terrorists kill people in their hundreds in the northern part of the country, insecurity occasioned by the IPO in the east and general economic downturn in the country at large, yet attempting to start a fight he cannot finish. But let me ask. With whose resources are they who going to use to do all these ones? With the CSO, with which resources, which money? As tension continues to build over possible confrontation with the military junta in Niger Republic, the member representing Umaya Federal constituency in the House of Representatives, Honorable B, has cautioned President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to resist any pressure to declare war against the Nigeria West Africa neighbor because of the grave implications. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice. Please be so kind to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in. Let me go forward the labor party lawmaker told tudubu not to rush into war with niger republic in his bid to please the united states of america and france as doing so could end nigeria the wrath of russia on the year so in a statement he personally issued on Friday, urged President Tinubu to jettison any war option, as doing so would be putting Nigeria into unnecessary risk. <laughs> the lawmaker also urged that Nigeria cutting off power supply to the Niger Republic was tantamount to breaching trade agreement. He earlier entered into with our francophone neighbors. Now this year so agreement na agreement. Tinibuna they don't breach agreement. The whole world they wash. The whole world they wash. Now this year so this uh, Labour Party lawmaker so the man na sense in the talk so this sense when this one they try to tell Tinibu make it get so now, because if he read tomorrow, <laughs> if he read tomorrow, Nigeria will be a problem. Oh. Me and you inside this country, a problem with it. Pango say me in a village at the state. For instance, my village, I get where I go hide put, what go go, what go go. I get everything to do survive war. Make I just tell you that. So if an official that is supportable for this one way you want to do so, eh? <laughs> or your is the case. Meanwhile, President Bola 
Tidubu has written the Nigerian Senate, intimating it of the proposed military action and other sanction against the military officer who recently seized power in the Niger Republic by the Economic Community of West Africa State, ECOWAS. Now the year so, Tinubu the the tear Say, hey, where you I beg, you go give order, give us a uh, power, make we take uh, uh, start military action. Now so Putin take token for for Russia and Ukraine own. He said that uh, 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 military uh, <laughs> uh, wow. military military action military. <laughs> In fact, I beg eh. The one way they do me now not be all these uh, people. Make to do not think what he won't think. Meanwhile, since the soldiers seized power in Niger on July 26th, the leaders of the West African Regional Bloc, headed by President Tidubu, has been in discussion, especially on sanctions against the coup plotters. However, the junta has remained adamant. Not even a delegation by Tinubu yesterday could de-escalate the situation. His letter to the Senate was read on the floor of the upper chamber by the president of the Senate, Godswi Ogene Karu Ijebu Akpabio. <laughs> the letter stated that Political situation in Niger. Following the unfortunate political situation in the Niger Republic, culminating in the overthrow of its president, ECOWAS, under its leadership, condemned the coup in its entirety and resolved to seek the return of the democratically elected government. That and the later way, uh, Baba Bola Sengo give uh, Ike Chuku Akpabio. They see also. When they forget that Buhari is from the Niger Republic, eh? this student will not get respect. First, you will hand over power to you. You won't go destroy a country. You now know, say, na Niger Republic, na Buhari forbid in your own refinery. You won't go scatter uh, Buhari the final for the Republic. And I'm saying that I'm saying that Buhari, Buhari won't fight war with Nigeria. So if you don't know, make you know Tinubu. You get what I say they play. Not play go Buhari country. In the sense because it, it not go, go well with Nigeria. In the sense so, I country people are begging. Make could uh choke my people this matter where they go on so. In the sense so. Whether this action we to do won't take na correct action I mean na yeah yeah action because <laughs> war war not be shy play anybody way if you say what is sweet make it look what it the apple for Ukraine and Russia when I go no say nobody say the joke. So, our comment session day open. Make you tell us what you eh? I go see you now for my next video. Until then, I beg. Make you not find any Nigerian trouble. Bye bye.